One of my favorite recent movies is the folk horror film Midsummer. I love the movie, and I particularly love the colorful costumes. I decided I just had to make the amazing May Queen costume from the film. In this video, we will be recreating the main character Danny's flowery collar. And as always, we will try to create this project as inexpensively as possible. This is a four-part series, so we also have videos on how to make the crown, apron, and dress. My first step was to draw what I thought the painted designs were on the collar that peek out between the flowers. I used photos from the film as reference. First, I sketched out the designs. I had to use some creative guesswork to come up with each of the shapes. I love to use transparent binder covers to make my stencils. You can also use the plastic covers of greeting card boxes. I trace my designs with the Sharpie. Then I began cutting out the stencils with an X-Acto knife. I decided my final fabric dimensions would be 13 by 90 inches. I folded this white sheet that I found at the thrift store several times to make it easier to cut. we have the base. Let's do some painting. As always, I use my trusty old cereal box as a work surface when I paint. I'm just using regular acrylic craft paint. I used a stencil brush and started applying the paint. This design is all along the bottom edge of the collar. I decided the little yellow circles needed to be filled in. I trimmed along the yellow design and ended up with a nice scalloped edge. Then I began the colorful fun of stenciling in all the different flowers and leaves randomly. There is no right or wrong. I just spaced the flowers out along the lower two-thirds of the collar. I did one simple design freehand without a stencil. Here are the green leaves. I love the little blue dots. You may notice my smudge near the top. Don't worry if you do that too. 
Our artificial flowers will cover any mistakes. I made a two-part stencil for the larger purple flower outline seen here in the reference photo. I just trimmed down my original cutout piece slightly and then carefully held it back in place while stenciling. The eraser end of a pencil is also an easy stamp for the circles in the center of the flowers. Next, I use some strong upholstery thread to create the frills. I took large one inch stitches and gathered the fabric up. which made it into a circle when I pulled the string. In the reference photos, I noticed Annie had little dark blue and white tassels hanging down from her shirt underneath the flower collar. So I decided to make those too. They are very easy to make. Take a one and a half inch piece of cardboard and cut two slits like this. I cut three pieces of embroidery thread and braided them together. Then I fixed the braid onto the card and wrapped blue thread around the cardboard about 25 times. A little cutting and tying and voila! I also added some white ribbon on either side of the collar to secure it around my neck. I found all of my flowers at thrift shops. You can often find bags of them like this, and you can get all you need for almost nothing. Okay, this is the fun part. Hot gluing all the flowers on. I attach the tassels underneath to finish things off. It turned out really pretty. Here is my finished costume. Perfect for blessing all your crops and livestock. This is a four-part series, so be sure to check out my other videos as we make the rest of the costume. There's also a link in the description to get my stencil designs if you would like to use them on your own costume. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more projects like this. See you soon!